You're watching WBRZ News 2 at 4. With this oppressive heat, it is crucial to stay cool and protect your skin. News 2 Sarah Rosario sat down with local dermatologist Dr. Ann Zetlitz to find out how to protect your skin from harmful UV rays. Well, we have a very special treat for you guys today. Dr. Ann Zedlitz, you've seen her plenty of times here on our show. Dr. Z is what we call her. What are we talking about today? Well, thanks for having me, Sarah. And we're talking about cleansers. And um, cleansers are kind of frustrating because there are so many. What do we choose? Do, well, first thing, we have to decide what kind of skin we have. Do we have oily skin, dry skin, acne prone skin mm -hmm. and then based on our skin type then we choose the right cleansers do we choose a cleanser that's creamy do we choose one that's a gel do mm -hmm. we choose glycolic salicylic acid there are so many choices so I'm going to try and help today so which ones do we use like when do we wash our face okay so I and again what is your face like so for me I wash my face at night and then I don't need to in the morning because my face is not oily when I wake up my face is pretty much dry, so I just rinse it with cool water. If your face is a little on the oily side, go ahead and wash it again in the morning. That's me. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so that's kind of how I, I um, tell my patients to do. And then, so if your face is oily, you may want to get a cleanser that has a salicylic in it, but a well-formulated salicylic. We don't want one with a lot of alcohol and um, or a glycolic acid cleanser. Again, we don't want one with too much glycolic. If your skin is irritated, irritation is not good. So if your skin is oily, choose one with a low glycolic or salicylic or gel-based cleanser. And then if your skin is dry, try a cream-based cleanser. You can use some with glycolic or salicylic, but maybe more sparingly, not every night or, or twice a day, maybe every other day. Got it. You can mix things up. And are these the products that we need to use? Or are these all great products for okay. us to use? We have um, I ha again, I just went into the drugstore. We have a great selection of products. Um, these products I thought were better. These were not as good. And I'm going to kind of go through the reasons. We, when you look for a cleanser, you don't want to see a lot of alcohols in cleansers. And cleansers, um, alcohol can be deceiving. So just look on the label and see if it says denatured alcohol or ethanol or benzyl alcohol. Kind of stay away from those unless they're far down on the list. And then um, also, if you have a lot of irritating ingredients like menthol in them, a lot of fragrances, those can um, become problematic. So just these are some safe bets that I found. Some have salicylic in it. This does, and this is actually a natural salicylic. It comes from willow bark. So a great, great cleanser. Um, these, the CeraVe, are more gentle cleansers. And I even brought some pads for acne-prone skin. And pads are an excellent um, choice but you need them without alcohol. So again, just turn it around and read. Does it have alcohol in there? And on the other side, I brought some pads right here. And those have and alcohol. And these have alcohol. So that's why I thought this was a better choice. And um, so just lots of great information, lots of great products. Just turn and don't be afraid to start reading labels. And um, again, it's trial and error. Find out what fits your face best. And then the reason that the bars are on the bad side, or not bad, but just not as good, is that sometimes the pH is too high and it can dry your skin like ivory. And then sometimes the bar itself, what holds the bar together, can clog pores. Oh. So bar soaps in general, we would say um, stay away from. Well, that's a learning lesson for me. I didn't really know that. Yeah. So now you guys know if you have what, when you need to wash your face, what products you need to yeah. use to wash your face. Thanks, Dr. Z. We You're also welcome. have a special gift basket well, for our always. viewers. Great basket with a great cleanser in it. And um, what number are we going to call? Number. Let's see. For caller mm -hmm. number three. Three. Sounds for caller number three, number three, call in right now. You see the number on your screen. Actually, I guess we'll make it caller number four because it says caller number four there. Sounds great. All right. So sorry, caller number three goes to caller ah. number four. Congratulations <laughs> to whoever gets it. Great. Good luck to all you callers out there. Thank you, Dr. Oh, Z. Oh, thanks for having me again, Sarah.